Jacob. hate it. I hate it so much. I hate Valentine's Day. I hate it. And hearts. Discounted chocolate at Walgreens after. <laughs> Unfortunately, sometimes people being disappointed. I, I'm, I see hearts, and I see chocolate, and I see roses. Hearts? Makes me think of my mom. She used to get like candies and stuff, and she made them into puns. Steak dinners. I hate them. <laughs> These heart shaped cookies that I hand out every year that are like awesome. Love and friends. Think of just telling people you love that you like them a lot and you think of them often. <laughs> it's really nasty heart candies with a really corny like phrases on them like, you need a hug. <laughs> A little heart candy that says like you're beautiful. The relationship I don't have. <laughs> Love heart hearts. What do you think? Hi. <laughs> Red and purple and pink hearts. <laughs> They're annoying couples. <laughs> Passing out treats and like elementary kids when they like can pass out treats to their friends. That was weird couples. I don't favor Valentine's Day. I don't hate it. Maybe somewhere between like despise and hate in the middle of that is what I feel. <laughs> Dumb. St. Valentine was a Roman priest who married young Christian couples in secret. He was eventually caught, imprisoned, and tortured. One of the men who was to judge him had a daughter who was blind. St. Valentine prayed with and healed the girl, touching her father who became a Christian himself as a result. Valentine was sentenced to a three-part execution of a beating, stoning, and finally decapitation all because of his stand for Christian marriage. The last words he wrote were in a note to the girl he had healed. He inspired today's holiday gestures by signing it, From Your Valentine. If Valentine's Day is because of someone's sacrifice, then why do we so often see it as a day to dread? Or why do we celebrate our loved ones as if this is the only time we can? Why is the attitude we have on this day not celebrated year round? We think of the things we love. My cats. I love soccer. My darling daughter, Brenna, and my handsome son, Nico. I love Brenna. <laughs> and Jesus. Because <laughs> um, he's just the best and he cares about us. I love Jesus and pizza, but not like, I mean, play guitar. So most. My girlfriend. Or my friends and family. And I love laughing. Coloring the stress release ones, though, and with really dull colored pencils because they shade in better. America and sleep of the sky and like the clouds and just sunsets. I love Young Life and I love all my Young Life friends. Mountains and the beach and rainy days. I love my babies, Brenna and Nico. God. I love sunsets. It's the TV show Friends. I love my best friend, Brenna. Sarah. Bacon. I love people, kids, students. My mom. <laughs> My husband will. Exploring new places and just meeting different um, types of people and like just cultures. Music and people. Bacon. Creation. I love my best friend and husband, Dominic. My beautiful wife, Teresa. And I love the Lord. <laughs> and my cat. <laughs> <laughs> One night to push and scream. When people tell me things, or like text me things, or write me things. Someone sending me verses. Uh, foot rubs, back rubs. People that want to spend quality time with me, and laugh with me. And... Probably words of affirmation. When people tell me that they're thinking about me. When people give me hugs, like big hugs, and then also when like you hang out with someone. <laughs> Definitely acts of service is a huge one, like when Will vacuums or cleans our house for me. <laughs> Waking up to Taco Bell is about as best as it gets. Or spending quality time with people, just like one-on-one, -on -one, going places or doing stuff. Somebody texts me out of the blue and that's, tells me they're thinking of me. When God blesses me with something that I pray for. Just gifts, I love gifts, that's my love language. When people take time out of their day to send me something that reminds them of me. Just general inclusion is what makes me feel loved. Thing like if I told them I wanted something and it's little and they just remembered it, like that makes me feel loved. Like people remembering things I guess. When someone tells me they love me, 
Yeah. Um, I'm definitely like a big words of affirmation person. Oh. Anybody that wants me to be a part of their life, that makes me feel loved. Oh, really warm soup in bed when I'm really, really sick. Quality time. I always feel loved getting like a hug from my mom or from my friend. Like, huge hugs. Love hugs when no one ever gives them to me. <laughs> Encouraging others. Um, I think I like it's so important to like reach out to our friends and just let them know like, hey, like you're doing this great and like I love like this about you and just like encouraging others and um, I also really like hugs. Remembering things about them and thinking about them and trying to let them know I'm here for. Them. Love by foot rubs, back rubs, and letting my children get away with crime. Um, probably my most favorite way is to write somebody like a note or like a card or something and stick it on their car and their backpack and just let them know that I'm thinking about them. And spending time with people, I just really love spending time with people. And I think everyone feels loved when you spend time with them. Usually just like writing notes and telling people how much they mean to me. Like text them when I haven't seen them or like just randomly text them, hey I love you. I love giving gifts um, and like cards and letters, that's the way I love like expressing Spending time and respecting and including people. Just like doing stuff for them and like serving them. to tell people that I love you because you know well it's so overused nowadays so when like you sincerely say like I love you you take time to show that person the love you have for them and like the respect you would like give them it like changes like the definition we're created to love and be loved it is terrifying and exhilarating to be vulnerable enough to let someone know you to your core to allow them access to your already broken heart. Three words, eight letters. Why did I find them so hard to say? If I could sail On this day ocean, that we often dread, I am grateful. Not just on this day, on every day. These are people that I love. These are people that God has given me and I adore them. They are my help. My mother. My father, my brother, my best friend, my family, my friends. Love on earth is temporary and shallow, but when we find it in the Lord and in the people he sends us, the rewards we reap are abundant. Love makes you think of family. Love, I me. Mean, I don't know. It makes me uncomfortable. Like that's I don't that being at home with people that you care about, or just like definitely is Jesus because Jesus is always there for me. <laughs> My pet Ginger. <laughs> Love her to death. Friends, just like caring for each other, being there for each other, um, the good and the bad. Jesus. Of course, God's love for us. He is the absolute. Um, picture of love and he has unconditional love for his children. He loves us no matter how far we fall from him. And then it also makes me think of my husband's love for me and how Christ. Um, and just like everything he's done for us and how good he is and how faithful he is to us. Um, and that we should show that same kind of love and goodness to other people. <laughs> Red. Protection, security. Think of the people that are always there for you no matter what you're going through. Abigail. Shoes. My mom, my parents, and Brenna, and just the people surround me that have like had the biggest influence on me. Like people who love Jesus. Happiness and just friends and family and uniting as a whole. Is God. Love. Is sacrifice. Love is selfless. Thinking of others before thinking of myself. I think Jesus is love for us and love for my family and my friends. 
and being unconditional. True love is God's love. Unfailing, unconditional. When I think of love, I think of God. I think of it as beyond easy. Taco Bell. That's it. <laughs> Nothing else. I don't care. Sorry, girlfriend. Sorry, everyone else. Taco Bell. Hands down, drop the mic. That's it. Uh, caring. Um, love can be beauty in the sky, a beauty in an apple, or beauty in a flower. Uh, beauty in my granddaughter rolling her eyes. Makes me feel good. Be around with y'all and your grandparents. Even if they had put up with me all these years. In church, in Jesus, and dogs. Like people and a God that love you, whether you're like a mess or a miracle, like in everything in between. So that's what love is. Yeah. Love is sacrifice. Love is laying down your life and things that are important to you for the people that are more important. Love is when you laugh with your people, but you'll just as soon cry with them too. Love is being there when it may not be the most convenient. So here's to my people. There's no need.